hello 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 everybody welcome to my channel if you have not been here before i would like to say welcome and as you can see from that lovely title we have a townie makeover and i think that is his name is either wait hold on let me see let me see i've been telling in my head i've been saying thorn and his name actually is thorn so haha i've been saying it right all right so if you don't know this dude he is the father of orange and the other half to olivia to the bailey household you know he's olivia's other half as we know he is the face of their household but he has no actual functionality without her so we are in the cover the mastermind now we're going to cover this man right here all right and as if you haven't noticed on my channel i think i have one other dude that i have done from creative sim and if you see similar clothing on this dude on Thorn, as you see the other dude, you can see why I don't really create males because my life just goes to jackets and suits. And that's all I make the males wear because I just, everything else looks crazy in my head. So that's why I only do several males, or only a few males. Okay, so how is everyone doing today? I'm currently going filming this on, or recording this on the day that y'all are going to see this on my channel. On the lovely day of June 29th, 2020. And <laughs> yeah. And now my lovely neighbors have decided that 9 o'clock, 9, 11 p.m. to be exact is the time. Where it's time to go outside in their backyard. And just talk as loud as they want to. Because my neighbors have no boundaries. But it's okay. We, we They make for great stories to tell to our family. And they wonder how we do it. Okay. So this brings me to a story that I'm thinking about because it just compelled. I was just compelled to think about this because I was talking about my neighbors. Okay, so as you can tell, um, most of my voiceovers and I hardly ever acknowledge the person being created or well, the sim being created simply for the fact that y'all can see it. So I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm thinking about anyway. Okay, so in my lovely neighborhood, like there's this this like, neighborhood watch thing, and apparently it's just basically a place for people to tattletale on their neighbors so if their houses and stuff aren't right then that's where people put it and i think it's the hoa so housing association whatever it is they come and they take pictures of the problems with everybody's houses and then they post it to this website so they don't post names or anything which is nice but basically you go on this website you see other people's houses and it kind of makes you feel better about your own house because you know that stuff is toe up too but it's still kind of like like low-key shaming is what we'll call it okay so anyways on this one it shows it like all the cracks and stuff in people's houses and then other people like i guess you aren't supposed to see people's backyards if they got a fence from the road or whatever it is so it's just like real nitpicky stuff like that or somebody's grass was crazy and stuff like that. So then it goes over to our house and you know, you figure hey, your stuff is good and all this stuff, but don't judge us because <laughs> we, like our yard is great, but our mailbox has seen better days. Well, before my mom replaced it, but the mailbox had no front on it. <laughs> And it was just sitting there because the door fell off at some point. And then I think someone zip tied it and something happened to the zip ties. So I was like, I mean, about just sitting there with no door. But granted, I don't think our house was the craziest house on the street because some people have their shutters were fell falling off. Their paint was towed up, but our mailbox was not cute. So we got flamed on that website, but it's okay because the mailbox got fixed and now they can't find us. So. Recently, my family and I, as in my mother and my sister, we've been walking around looking at everybody. Well, we walk around the neighborhood because, you know, exercise. So we went while walking around the neighborhood. Of course, you recognize some of the houses that were on this website that low-key flamed everybody with their houses imperfections. But I'm just saying, like HOA, okay, so this is, slightly related but not really on topic okay so i believe that the hoa since people pay so much money anyways to live in a neighborhood i feel like they should replace or give people like a couple shrubs just for like you lived in the neighborhood for five years all right here's a bush because 
y'all don't understand how some of the bushes in my neighborhood look. That this is so petty, but it's just like some of these hedges need some real help. Okay, I know this was interesting to you. If you stay to the end, bless your soul. Okay, we're gonna get to the astro now because it takes me forever to do them. All right, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day and subscribe, please, and thank you. And tell your friends about it. Follow the Instagram because it does exist. And I have no more to say, so peace out, everyone. <laughs>